week, another great fishing adventure and another off the hook recipe. Hi everyone, I'm Josie Lanzi. Welcome to Off the Hook on the Plate. Beautiful sunny Florida here today and we're going to head out on that golf and come back home with hopefully a huge catch of the day and create yet another off the hook recipe. So let's get fishing so we can get cooking. All right, let's kick it. We got some mackerels uh, around here and we got our spoons and we're actually trolling and hopefully we'll catch a couple. I just saw a couple come out of the water. We did see something really big come out. That might have been a king, so hopefully we'll get something. There's my pole right now, I got one. It's a good fight, let me tell you. Here it is, here it is. Look at the bonita. Ooh. Little Tony. <laughs> Little Tony. Oh my gosh, he's got some pole. Oh. All right. Caught another one, he's a little baby. He cute though, huh? Look at him fight. Look at him. Look at him. Woohoo! That's a good fight. Look, they fight her. Woo, them little tummy. Little tuna. Look at that thing. Check it out. Check it out. That's oh, thick. it's thick. Look, it's beautiful. Put him back. Woo. We made it to our favorite spot. We had some action on the way here. I thought it was mackerels, but they were little tummies, which are a type of uh, tuna, but it's not good to eat, but they sure give you a nice fight. That was fun. So now it's time to catch the fresh catch of the day. Let's see what kind of bait we got. We got uh, frozen Manhattan, frozen grunt, squid, sardines, and oh yeah, plenty of pinfish. So we're ready to fish. Let's get fishing. First red grouper of the day. We on third type of species. We already got grunt in the cooler. We got a trigger and Brent thinks he's got a grouper keep over there. Whew. Good fishing day. We put this one back. It's too little. This guy of the day, we better measure that one. Looks look, pretty look big. Oh, look at him. Look at Beautiful. The yeah, it sure is. Wow. Uh, how, how long is it? 22. 22. That's a keeper, baby. First gag of the day. We're going home with the fresh catch of the day. Yeah. I'm taking a little break right now. We're doing really good. The cooler's filling up really fast, which is great. But I wanted to share with you a couple of little tools that I really like to always have on the boat. And of course, that's our measuring sticks. And on the sticks, it has for per inches what fish you can keep and uh, how long or how short they need to be to actually be a keeper. Sometimes they have a range. And then my second thing is this little book here. Uh, you have an inshore type, and this is the offshore for the West Coast. So this is perfect. So when you don't know what you're catching, look it up. Sometimes it's excellent fish, and sometimes it's just junk fish. You gotta put it back. So just wanna share those things with you. Whoo, it took two minutes. <laughs> We got it in. We got nice kingfish today. I said this morning we're coming home with four different catch of the day, baby, and we got it. Oh. Brent's tired. He worked his butt off on this. Woo. That's pretty. Look at that. That's a lot of meat right here. I'm going to make for you my poor man's lobster. Woo. Yeah. Well, it was a great fishing day again. It's calm still. We're going to head back in. It's about 2.30 or so, but... We got plenty of fish to clean, so I'll see you guys back at the house and we're going to create yet another off the hook recipe. Nice day. Okay, now we're going to show you how to fillet a kingfish. Okay, after you fillet a kingfish, uh, there's a, a certain way to prepare it. Number one, you probably just want to slice it in the middle here because there's a lot of bones dead in the middle, see? And then just go along the side and get rid of that. Now the key to kingfish and preparing it right is to lose everything that's dark red and just trim all that off. Sure, you turn it around because you're probably going to see some right here, see? Just like that. You want to make sure you trim all that dark meat off that's very strong. Once you've done that, you pretty much are done filleting a kingfish. 
Okay, today our catch of the day was the kingfish. Well, that was at least one of them, and that's what we're using here. I'm going to show you how to make what I call poor men's lobster. What you want to do after you're done filleting your kingfish is to actually cover it all with milk. It doesn't matter if it's regular milk or 2% milk, but you want to make sure you got it all covered. This right here is perfect. Okay, you'll need to cover this and then refrigerate 8 to 10 hours. Okay, after the kingfish has soaked in milk for about 8 to 12 hours. Okay, the next step is to actually cube all the fish. And I like to cube it about, yeah, 2 inch, 1 inch wide and 2 inch long. Okay, in a large pot I've added 8 cups of water and 1 packet of the crab boil for the seasoning. You want to bring this up to a full boil and let it boil for at least 15 minutes. Okay, in a small microwave safe bowl, you want to add half a stick of butter, one crushed garlic, half a teaspoon of garlic salt, and a tablespoon of chopped fine chives. Microwave until the butter is melted. Okay, as you can see, I just now removed the seasoning packet out and it's still boiling and that's exactly how you want it. You want now to add your chunk of kingfish. Okay, bring it back to a boil and let it cook about three to five minutes. You'll be able to tell not only the fish will be completely white, your chunk of fish will be completely white, but they'll be very flaky and tender. They are going to want to fall apart. Then you know it's time to remove them. So tender it's literally falling apart. You know it's time to take it off. You want to set them on a paper towel to drain completely by using a slotted spoon that helps. There you have it. Poor men's lobster. You want to top it off with the garlic butter. You're not going to believe how much this tastes like lobster. It's unbelievable. So good for you. It's fantastic. I like to serve this with little toothpicks so everyone can just jump in and grab this self a little bite. Yet another off the hook recipe, my poor man's lobster. Bon appetit. Well, I hope you had a lot of fun today. And what about that catch? It was huge. That's right, that huge kingfish sure gave us a lot of fun pulling and working out to get it in the boat. But once we did, I knew it. I was gonna come home and share another off the hook recipe with you. So I hope you try that poor man's lobster. You are not gonna believe how much it does taste like lobster. If you ever have the opportunity to bring that kingfish home, go ahead and do it. I promise you won't regret it. So I'll see you guys next week for another off the hook, on the plate recipe. Bye everyone. Thank you.